channel. I'm sitting in our new house. I'm super excited to show you guys around. We actually got the keys yesterday and we're slowly moving in furniture and all of our stuff. But I really wanted to film an empty house tour. Um, also, sorry if you hear the dogs walking around. They're just sniffing out their new place. I think you guys like it. <laughs> you like it, don't you? You so excited? I have to show you guys the rooftop. You're gonna love it. What was I saying? Oh, Darla, where'd you get that? I think this is like a curtain rod thing. Okay, well, we'll deal with that later. I wanted to film a full empty house tour. I just find it's more interesting when you can see like a clean slate and then compare it to when there's furniture in it just for like styling videos and all of that. We are renting this space. I did get a few questions about that. We would love to buy, but we're just not at a place financially where we can do that. Home prices in Vancouver are insane. You need like at least a million dollars for a down payment if you want like a full on house with a yard. So we're definitely not there yet, hopefully one day, but I was super excited to find this rental because it's like exactly what I wanted. This house is over a hundred years old, so it definitely has a lot of character, a few quirks, which I will show you when we do the walkthrough, but my entire life I've pretty much lived in either brand new houses or like relatively new houses. So this is very different for me, but I love that it's not cookie cutter. There's just like little pieces about it that make it feel really homey. It's just different and unique and I really like that. We are gonna be bringing in furniture today, so I'm gonna quickly film this. I brought over like all my plants and stuff that I'm gonna drop off today. Hey, that's just some plain by the way. I know it sounds aggressive. But yeah, let's just jump into the tour. I will show you guys the house. So we are standing at the front door and when you walk in, you walk into the living room. There's the kitchen over there. It's a very open floor plan. Um, I'll get into that after. So on the right, this is the first bedroom, but this is actually going to be our office space. I love the color of the floor and the white walls. This wall actually has some floral texture on it. It's very subtle though. And then we do have a pretty decent sized closet. Darla is checking it out. But a decent amount of storage. I'm going to be putting like my makeup cabinet in here somewhere. Not the smoothest closing doors. Shoot, I think I put this on wrong. Oh, it's supposed to come on this. Here. We got it. All right, so that is the office room. This is the only item that we have in the house so far, is this fan. So in the living room, I am obsessed with this fireplace. I think it just gives it some character. So it's just white brick. I'm pretty sure it used to be black. But yeah, they put in this new marble tiling as well and they left the TV wall mount, which is very helpful. This fire is actually electric, so you just plug it in and you can either just have the light for ambiance or you can have heat or heat and light, so it's kind of nice. You guys are literally gonna hear Darla in this whole video, I apologize. Over here is bedroom number two. This is going to be the guest room. Pretty decent size. They also left this mirror. Do I need to put you in a separate room? Sorry, Teeks. Also, I'm obsessed with these doorknobs. I was gonna say I thought they were original, but they look like pretty new, but I love how they look sort of vintage. Super cute. So we've got another closet in here, but there's like a shelf up there, there's some hooks. This is a very like old house type thing. I feel like new houses don't really have built-in shelves like this anymore. There's extra storage in here. Some super old wallpaper. Like look at this one. Oh my gosh, so vintage. <laughs> and then there's even more over here as well. So super handy, love that. Hello. When we walked through the house, I saw this light fixture and I was really hoping that they would leave it and they did. So how beautiful is this? So yeah, this is just like beaded. Oh my gosh, I love that sound, but super cute. I also like these light fixtures here. Would you say that's gold or brass? Cause I'm thinking about like even switching out the knobs, everything is silver. I would kind of like it to be gold and that's just like a very easy like renter friendly switch, but it does match. This is called the range and sink faucet and everything, but 
I do like the gold details. Kind of warms up the space. But yeah, here's the kitchen. It's got a huge island, lots of storage. Our landlord's actually left us a little like welcoming package of chocolate bars, some bones for the dogs. Actually, maybe I'll give them these. And they also gave us a bottle of rosé that we put in the fridge. We've met both of the landlords and they seem really nice, so that is a huge bonus. So yeah, there's quite a few drawers and cabinets. The storage is pretty good in here. The appliances are also quite new. So we've got the stove, the oven, dishwasher, here's the sink. And I kind of have a story to tell you about this room. The fridge is pretty great. Our last house, or like where we are now, we didn't have an ice machine or the water filter. So it's gonna be really nice to have that again. And the freezer is pretty big. Like it's the full one side. And then here's the fridge with our rosé in there. If I have any Persian followers, what is this? I don't fully understand. I think it's just a, like a decor. But our landlord said the family that lived here prior was a Persian family and they had these added on. Um, and they're basically just hollow rectangular wooden things. And then these are lights that you can turn on. Um, my camera is sitting on another one. So there's like two. That is what that is. <laughs> So excited about this. We have a walk-in pantry for all of our food. There's a bunch of shelves. They have a couple baskets. I know Ikea has stuff like this. So if we want more, there's even like bottle racks and stuff. I don't know if that like, does that like open up? That's like one thing about old houses, like all these things. I'm like, where does that go? But yeah, super stoked to have a pantry. Over here is the bathroom. I'm pretty sure this was the newest reno and I love what they did with it. So they put in this really pretty marble counter, a couple drawers, and then they left those baskets down there. I also like the mirror. I think it's really pretty and just suits everything else in here. The bathtub shower is just a nice clean white subway tile. And then of course the toilet. It's also got a little bit of storage above there. This is another thing that I was super stoked for, kind of random, but it is another built-in shelf. And I am just picturing my skincare all nicely organized. You know those like Pinterest medicine cabinets of nicely organized makeup and skincare? That is just what I'm envisioning for here. So I'll definitely show you guys that once it's all done. Definitely one of my favorite rooms is the bedroom. I love the light and the curtains. Um, I'm gonna get close and show you the curtain rod. I'm so happy they left it, but, but we've also got a walk-in closet. I've never had a walk-in closet before. And don't mind this, this is Colby's like weighted vest that he made for working out. <laughs> but yeah, it's got this huge mirror. We've got a rod and some shelves on that side. We've got some cupboard space down there. Another rod and shelf. We've even got another cupboard over here. So we were thinking like maybe Colby takes this if we can put in a rod somewhere because he does need to hang clothes. But I definitely have more stuff than he does. So it'd be kind of nice to have like our own separate closets. I would love to have a fan, like a ceiling fan in here. I don't know if we'll ever swap that out, but it is pretty. But oh my gosh, you guys, these rods. Stunning, obsessed. I didn't know they were gonna leave the curtains, but this is what I was envisioning is just having like white flowy curtains like all around. I honestly don't even know where you would find a rod like this. I think it's just a wood rod that's been spray painted gold, but it's such a nice touch. So that is like the original house. And then the family, I'm pretty sure the Persian family added on this room. I could be wrong, but at some point they added on this room. It has a sliding door from the bedroom, but you can also get to it from another door off the kitchen. But as you can see, this used to be the outside of the house. There's like the kitchen window, but now the window is looking into like this laundry room. And then our landlord was saying they actually used to have their breakfast table here. We have an amazing view of the mountains, the city, the ocean. Um, so I could see why you would want to sit and have your breakfast there. I have a lot of ideas for this space. I don't really know what we're going to do. There goes Darla again. And then these stairs actually lead up to a rooftop patio. I don't think I'm actually going to show you guys. I just don't know how much of like the outside I want to show just for like privacy reasons. But yeah, that goes to a rooftop patio. And I think we're going to get so much use out of it. I'm just picturing like lounging in the sun, doing yoga, having some dinners, a glass of wine. It's gonna be really, really nice. Darla, you guys are so cute, but so annoying. These stairs are not up to code, they're very steep, so I don't even know if the dogs are gonna be able to go up there. So that concludes the house tour. Darla, do you want a treat? Yeah, you guys get some treats. 
That concludes the empty house tour. I cannot wait to decorate and I will be filming all of that for you guys. Let me know if there's anything specific you wanna see. I'm gonna bring in my plants and then I gotta head back home. We're bringing over some furniture today. I also need to measure some things. Uh, there's two windows here that don't have any curtains or like blinds. So I need to measure those out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the space and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.